Hello everybody. So I am back here again as you have asked. Today inshallah I'll present for you uh, let's say uh, another lesson for, which is the adverbs of frequency. But this lesson is related to simple present because as I explained before that the, the adverbs of frequency are uh, signal words of simple present. Okay so first of all let's start what are the adverbs of frequency? What are they? So here are adverbs of frequency. So as you see here, we have six words which are never, rarely, sometimes, usually, often, and always. So six adverbs, we call them adverbs of frequency. What do I mean? So they are words, okay? Adverbs of frequency are words, adverbs used to, to say how many times we do something, okay? So as I have explained, Adverbs of frequency are used to express how many times we do something. They express the frequency of the thing, okay? Do you always do it? Do you never do it? Do you usually or sometimes or often do something, etc.? Let's see the examples here, okay? So the first example is, so I always visit my grandparents at the weekend. So here, from this sentence, I understand that Every weekend we visit or uh, I visit my grandparents, which means 100%. So here I've made them in a line to show you the frequency. So when I say I always do something, for example, here I always visit my grandparents at the weekend, I mean 100%. I mean every weekend, okay? Every weekend. So always, which means I, I do it with, with non-stop okay without stopping always do the same thing yes let's see the second example which is he is never late he is never late so never is the adverb of frequency again here when it comes to the to the time to the line we can see that it's zero percent it's zero percent so he never or he's never late to school which means what it means that he's always on time. He never comes late to school. Always on time. So it's zero percent. So let's read the sequence of each adverb here. So never is jamais. Okay, so I write it. I'm going to write them even in Arabic. It's better. So here, never, which means abadan. Okay, abadan or jamais. Arli say. Uh, or rarement. Okay, sometimes is ahyanan. When I say usually, it's adatan or bien normalement. Okay, normalement. And often is, we say often or often, by the way. Okay, so ghaliban or la plupart du temps. Okay, la plupart du temps is ghaliban or often. And the last one, which is always, one toujours ou bien d'aimen. So here I've translated them uh, into Arabic and French, so to be so clear, okay? These are two examples, and these, and from these two examples, I'm going to derive the idea or to derive the rule that we follow, okay? So let's start, please. Concentrate with me. I always visit. So I is subject. Okay, always is the adverb of frequency, and this is the verb, okay, this is the verb. So here the question is what comes first, the adverb or the verb? This is the question. So have a look on the first example. So you have subject, adverb, plus verb, yes, which means the adverb that comes first. Okay, so this is the rule. As we have said, adverb of frequency, which is always, plus the verb. I, let's give another example. I never go uh, to school late. I sometimes visit my friend on Sunday. I usually, uh, for example, eat pizza. Yeah, so all these examples have adverb of frequency always sometimes usually never or rarely or 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 plus the verb okay let's see then the second example okay so he is the subject yes is 
is the verb, verb to be, and never is the adverb of frequency. So here we can see that it's the opposite. So here, verb plus adverb. But please, you have to concentrate. Which verb is this? Which verb is this? It's verb to be. Okay? So, it's verb to be. So, here, I would like to tell you that all the verbs, all the verbs that come to your mind are after the adverb of frequency. Are after the adverb of frequency, whatever the verb is, except we have an exception, which is verb to be. So when you have verb to be, so verb to be is the king, by the way, is the king of the verbs, okay? So sure, the king walks first, okay? Here, the second rule, we can say verb to be plus the adverb of frequency. Always verb to be first plus the adverb. However, with the other verbs, whatever the verb is, the adverb of frequency first, then you put the verb. So I hope that the idea is quite clear because it's really uh, easy, okay? It's easy, adverb plus verb, but if it's the verb to be, which is the king of the verbs, so verb to be plus the adverb. Let's do an exercise together, okay? So let's start. So I say write the words in the correct order. So I have given slashes between words and you are going to correct, to make them in the correct order, yes? So as you see here, that, uh, all the sentences are affirmative except this one. Negative, yes? So affirmative and negative sentences start with subject, sure. Okay, they start with a subject. So Sarah is the subject. So this is number one. Yeah? The second step, we're going to see verb and adverb. So what comes first? I repeat again the rule. The rule says adverb plus the verb. Adverb of frequency plus the verb. Except if we are talking about verb to be. So verb to be plus the adverb. Yes? So here we have sometimes and we have plays. Piano. Adverb is this, so this is the adverb, and this is the, is the verb. So, adverb is number two, the verb is number three, and sure, the object is number four. Complement de la phrase, whatever it is, yes? Let's move on. So, I repeat. Sarah, subject. Adverb of frequency sometimes is number two. The verb, which is plays, is number three, and piano is uh, number four, which is the object. Let's move on to number two. Again, Jesse always is happy. Yes? So, Jesse is the subject, so this is number one. We have always, we have is, and we have happy. We have to pay attention to the sentence and to look for the verb. The verb here is is. And is is to be. So, as I told you, to be is the king of the verb, so it comes first. So, Jesse uh, is is number two because it's verb to be. And then I look for the adverb, which is always so number three. And finally, the adjective is number uh, four. Yes? Okay, let's move on to number three. Bob and Brian, so the, this is the subject, is number one. Yeah? Let's look for the verb. The verb is drink. Okay? The verb is drink. So it's not verb to be. So it's going to be number three. It's going to be after the adverb. So where is the adverb here? Is usually number two. The verb is drink. So number three. And finally, orange juice is number four. Sentence number four. They. So here it's a negative sentence. They is number one because it's the subject. The verb here is are not. Are not is verb to be. So, verb to be comes first. So, this is number two. And uh, verb to be plus adverb. Adverb is always. So, number three. Finally, on time is the last. It's number four. The last sentence, we have the dog. The dog is the subject. It's number one. So, let's look for the verb. Barks. 
Barks is ينبح because the dog is it. That's why we add s to the verb. Yes. So the dog barks. So it's not verb to be. It's not going to be the first. Okay. So I have to look for the adverb. The adverb is rarely. And barks is the verb. So adverb plus verb. Rarely is number two and barks is number three. So let's read the sentences. Sara sometimes plays piano. Adverb plus verb. Yes? Jesse is always happy. Jesse, we have verb to be, verb to be plus adverb, which is always. So Jesse is always happy. Number three, Bob and Brian usually drink orange juice. So, adverb plus verb. Number four, they are not always on time. Verb to be plus adverb. And finally, the dog rarely barks. Adverb plus verb. Okay, so I hope that the adverbs of frequency are clear, so they are so easy that you have just to pay attention to the verb, whether it's, a, uh, I mean, uh, verb to be or not. So if it's verb to be, verb to be plus an adverb of frequency. If it's not, please use the adverb of frequency first, then the verb. I hope that you have understood the lesson and thank you for your attention. See you next time in another video.